The Socratic method, also known as Socratic dialectic or Elenchus, is an argumentative dialogue named after the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates. It is the asking and answering of a series of questions in order to arrive at the truth. In the process, answers are critically examined in order to determine their internal consistency and coherence with other beliefs. It is important to note that the Socratic method is neither a rhetoric nor a debate. Its participants do not attempt to persuade or argue with each other, but rather work together in order to arrive at the truth. Moreover, the Socratic method does not intend to impart new truth. It serves only as a guide in discovering the truth. Socrates himself tried to make his interlocutors realize their own beliefs and their validity, rather than giving them knowledge. His method was based on his theory of knowledge. For Socrates, true knowledge is innate in the soul of every individual. This knowledge however, has been forgotten after our souls were imprisoned in our bodies. To know the truth for Socrates therefore, is a matter of remembering or being aware of what our soul already knows. Socrates described his method as, meiotic or a form of intellectual midwifery. Just as a midwife helps pregnant women deliver their babies, so Socrates helped his interlocutors nurture their beliefs and give birth to true knowledge. Essentially, the Socratic method uses three steps in arriving at the truth. First, the interlocutors or participants give an initial definition of a thing or a concept, such as for example, the common definition of a table as an object with four legs. Second, they look for characteristics of the thing or concept that are not captured in the initial definition. For example, they may ask, is the table a horse, that is, whether there are characteristics in a horse that are also in a table, as horses, like tables, also have four legs. Obviously, the answer here is no. This question leads them to the third step, where they give an additional or a new definition of the thing or concept. They may say for example, that a table, although it has four legs like a horse, is a furniture that is made of wood. Now if they repeat these last two steps until they have a precise definition of the thing or concept, they will have arrived at its essence, that is, in the case of the example, that which makes a table a table, that which makes a table completely different from other things such as a horse, a chair, etc they will have arrived at the truth of what a table is. Thus, they may conclude that a table is a furniture that has a leg or legs, has a flat surface, and is used for doing certain things like eating, studying, putting on things, etc. Applied to today's classrooms, the Socratic method allows both students and teachers to work together in arriving at the truth. The Socratic teacher will not force her own beliefs on her students. Instead, she simply acts as a guide for them to acquire true knowledge. Conversely, students will no longer be seen and treated as passive learners, but rather as active participants in the learning process. They will think for themselves, while their teacher facilitates the discussion. It is important to note however, that in order for the Socratic method to be effective, the students must first admit their ignorance, be it complete or partial, about the topic they're going to discuss. This is based on Socrates' conviction that true wisdom is knowing one's own ignorance. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like, follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for more related content. Also, if you want us to make a video about a specific topic, please let us know in the comments section. Thank you, and see you in our next videos.